There's a lot of Texas in this album, isn't there? A lot of Texas. It, yeah, it's all Texas. Um, you know, essentially, when my parents got divorced, we moved to the Memphis area from Houston because my mom and her, she was born here and um, her her parents were here. So she came back here when my folks got divorced um, after living in Texas. But I did live there in the summers and the winters, so I absorbed a lot. And I was around people like my grandpa and, and my grandmother. They were always out in the community. We had season tickets to the Astros, you know, so we were in the Dome. The Dome is where I found out I needed glasses because <laughs> there used to be this giant Coke sign. It, it just said Coke, you know, was, and the sign was enormous. And my dad, I was squinting all over the place. My dad said, what is it? can you tell me what that sign says over there, that red sign? And I was, no, <laughs> you know, and the, the letter C was probably 30 feet tall and I still couldn't make up the word Coke. When I started writing songs, um, songs about my Texas family were just what came out. And so this album is kind of a concept album. It starts with my great grandparents who were from Devers, Texas, which is just east of Liberty. Liberty's right in between Houston and Beaumont. And so it starts out with them and their struggles to kind of raise a large family during the depression. And then it kind of goes through time. There's a song called Rosemary, which is about my, my grandparents and them during World War II as my grandfather went off to war. Songs about my dad and the album ends up kind of present day with me and Liberty looking at how everything has changed the people that I love are, you know, really no longer there. My dad and some cousins are about the only ones left in Liberty from what was once a very large family. And the town has changed and all that. So it's kind of a, a linear concept album. Almost every song in the album has a direct tie back to back to Texas, Liberty, and or my family. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.